Hey again. So I've um, been saying I'm going to be doing a review on the Bush Ranger for a while now, and I'm uh, finally going to do it. I've uh, prepared my lawn for you. So for the back, we're going to do um, just a mulch. So we're going to take the catcher off and let it just fly out the back so I can show you that. Then this middle section we're going to do with the catcher so you can see that one, which will be this area here. And then the front section we're just going to do with the uh, mulching plug in. So we'll give that a crack. is like built like a tank like it, it's got these things here you can take these off replace these if they break so another just protection from rocks and that sort of stuff the level changes for the height adjustment is really easy to use i can do it with one hand um, you pull those out pull out the other side over there and then that goes back at the top there and I'm six foot two and this thing is the yeah, perfect height for me so um all you short guys should be fine it goes up and down if you're taller than six two you might be struggling but you probably struggle with all or mine so on that front very, really good. Engine itself is 196cc, which um, yeah, it's really gets through anything. Really, I haven't found anything that it gets stuck on. You can see that lawn that I just did; it um, didn't even stop, and that was on full speed. So, so the speed is a three-speed. So you have to actually click out and go into the next one, which I actually really like. It's got the same kind of thing as the Honda does. The um, choke is just all the way down, and then you obviously back to your thing, and then you got your speeds here. I always just keep it at full bore because I'm a machine. A height adjustment is pretty much copied off the Honda again. You go into different spots and we'll smack it in. What I really like is, uh, I don't know if you can see it, but they've actually made it real beastie, so it's a square. So um, when it clicks in, it actually really clicks in. It's got this locking mechanism on it. Locks in really good. Where if you go to my Rover, just the other here, how Rover's done it, they didn't like um, circles and that was prone to break all the time, every time I moved it. So you got these rubber wheels on it, which heaps better than the plastic crap over there on my Honda. Um, these things are gonna last for ages compared to that. Um, I love my Honda, but the wheels were always the thing that gave me the shit. The catcher is, the catcher is a little bit smaller than the Honda, I think. But um, yeah, it seems to go all right. I just don't like fucking the angle on it. <laughs> so the Honda kind of sits nicely where this one kind of sits up a bit, which is a bit of a pain in the ass. So keeping in mind, I've had this one for a while. There is some wear and tear. Um, it's only been about oh, about four months I've had it. So it's a bit, yeah, a bit cheap that this is already broken. So you do have a line maker down, so, and it's a bit flimsy. Um, as you can see, it's, it's got a hole in it already. Probably could make that a bit heavier as well to make better lines, but you guys are right. The shoot itself, good shoot, good shoot size, shoots out really well. Just absolutely terrible in the rain, like absolutely terrible. Like the best, like it's a really good model, but terrible in the rain. So I'm not sure why, but they didn't put a blade cut off on it. It's just got go and stop. So um, it's, I've got used to it. If you are used to the Honda, it's um, annoying. So on the front here, it's got no stopper. Like there's no nothing, if you're gonna hit a wall or something and damage your deck, there's no, nothing to stop you doing that. It's just this, which is pretty solid, but it's just, if you go over to the Honda, the Honda's got this little bar and that bar has saved this deck so many times, apart from that time when it didn't. And we don't talk about that. The other thing is quite simple. It's this little thing here on the Honda, right? So I compare most things to my Honda because I loved my Honda. And uh, yeah, I think it's the, the top model machine. Where this, you just put the hose on and wash your deck from the inside. This one, there's there's nothing to wash it with unless I've missed it. But Bush Ranger, like chuck a bloody washing thing on there so I can wash my deck. The other thing I'm not a fan of is obviously this in the rain is terrible. But also this going downstairs and upstairs, you need a ramp basically because it just doesn't like it. I don't know if you can see under it. 
it just it, you kind of it just gets stuck every single time I do it. With the Honda, you can pull up and down stairs. Where this one, yeah, it's a bit of a beast. And the last thing I don't like is the catcher is a bit cheaply made. It's um, already starting to get holes in it. I don't know why Lemoyne brands don't put a pad here at the end here because they always wear through. The Honda used to do it, and this one's the same. So Bush Ranger, chuck something there for me. And uh, but all in all, I think this is probably the best lawnmower on the market at the moment. There isn't much out there that will beat it. There is the Honda. I think that comes equal to it. But um, yeah, I think Bush Ranger's made one of the best mowers on the market at the moment, especially with the, the deck on it. It just, it's built solid. Everyone says it's heavy, but I'm not sure who's doing deadlifts with it. Don't need to do deadlifts with it. Use a ramp, get on on your trailer or whatever. Perfect machine, uh, it will get through anything. And um, yeah, the, the only thing, the things that I've mentioned that are bad, aren't really that bad. So um, little things that Bush Ranger can fix and make, make it even better, but uh, all in all, if you're currently looking for a lawnmower and you're a commercial lawnmower man, I would heavily suggest um, a Bush Ranger. I think it, I think they're their actual the uh, the top-notch machine at the moment. I don't think you can beat them. So um, yeah, that's my review.